Developing Student Success in Mathematics Through Curriculum Development and Instruction. Student success within a mathematics curriculum is dependent upon a student's math self-efficacy, their purpose of life, and their skill in productive persistence. For 30 years of research, beginning with Bandura's research in 1977, there has been shown a high correlation between math self-efficacy, or just self-efficacy in ge general, and academic performance. Self-efficacy is the belief that a person can complete a particular activity, and students that have a high level of math self-efficacy are more likely to attempt difficult problems and follow through until the task is completed. Self-efficacy is determined by the following. A student's failure or success on previous or similar tasks, vicarious observations of other people's performance, social encouragement and positive reinforcement from other people, and physiological and emotional states. This kind of all goes back to the little train that could or said over and over, I think I can, I think I can. Self-efficacy is malleable, and change can occur over time with an individual, and this is really good news because that means that as instructors, we can develop math self-efficacy in our students within the curriculum and through instruction. It's recommended by Siegel and McCoach that we can do the following. Review lesson accomplishments from the previous day. Post the current lesson's objectives prior to instruction, drawing attention to the lesson objectives as they are covered, and reviewing the lesson objectives at the end of the lesson. Ask students to record each day, or possibly each week if it's online, on a calendar something new that they learned that day or something at which they excelled. Prompt students who perform poorly to attribute their failures to a lack of effort by encouraging them to try harder. Draw students' attention to their growth. Compliment them on their specific skills. And then also using student models early to demonstrate some aspects of a lesson to remind them that other students like themselves are mastering the material and therefore they can master it too. All of these strategies can be accomplished online, on ground, or in a hybrid course. Purpose of life. Intervening to increase self-efficacy has a positive influence on a student's purpose of life. Purpose of life is determined by each student's freedom of choice, and this freedom challenges them to take responsibility for their actions, and every student searches for their own sense of purpose. To develop a purpose of life within the curriculum and instruction, you would first find meaning through the creation of a product or something of personal significance within the curriculum. Secondly, you can make connections and develop relationships with a significant person, such as another student or an instructor. And finally, you can learn how to deal with and overcome difficult coursework. This leads into productive persistence. Productive persistence is closely related to self-efficacy and the purpose of life, it uses tenacity with efficient strategies that lead to success. Developing productive persistence with curriculum instruction is elaborated upon by Andrea Levy, Seattle Central Community College Statway Developmental Math Instructor, and she shares her strategies on developmental productive persistence. You can click on either of the two links or copy paste those into your URL to actually hear her explain each of these. But they are summarized on the following. Um, she recommends that her students need to learn, or your students as well, need to learn how to self-assess, learn to connect with other students in their class and with their instructor through either online forums, email, or just exchanging phone numbers. And students need to use the counseling and tutorial service available on campus and online. Instructors can help develop mathematical productive assistant, persistence in their students by managing the stress level in their course, establishing norms of cooperation among students during group work and face-to-face -face or even online, providing a supportive class structure in any platform, establishing consistent routines and clear expectations, 
and just being involved in the academic tutorial program offered on campus or online. This can be to the degree where you actually go to the tutorial programs periodically to help or bring in some tutors to the class so that they can see what the students are actually doing in class. Online, on-ground, and hybrid courses, regardless of their platform, for student success, all courses need, within the curriculum and instruction, a plan to develop the student's math self-efficacy, their purpose of life, and their skills in productive persistence. These resources are available if you would like to look further into this these types of helps for students to help them be successful. Thank you.